Good morning, Quad Cities. We are continuing to keep a close eye out on now Tropical Storm Helene, which is continuing to push through the state of Georgia and now getting into South Carolina, eventually pushing into Tennessee. But you can see a whole lot of rain has developed into the Midwest. Unfortunately, though, it has not moved any more north over the past couple of hours. When we're talking about where that rain is cutting off, it's just two hours south, and that's where it's going to stay. So we're not going to see any rain chances, but we are going to see the influence of cloud cover and some winds as we do see Helene get closer and closer to the Ohio River Valley. And again, the very unique path of this storm, it's going to interact with another storm system that's over in the plains coming in as a front, not going to bring in any rain chances, but again, it's going to stall that system to stay over the Ohio River Valley as it continues into the upcoming weekend. So again, clouds are going to be pretty stubborn today. We'll keep those clouds uh, pretty overcast for the afternoon. Highs will be in the upper 70s though, so pretty comfortable day and including with those uh, breezy winds should feel pretty nice outside, especially if you're heading into any of those Friday night football games should be a pretty nice evening for that. Temperatures going into tonight will be just a touch warmer, lows around 60 degrees and then tomorrow another day with highs in the upper 70s. Staying dry, likely going to continue to work those clouds out of the area a little bit more, but does look like it might stay a little more consistent on the Illinois side and starting to see those clearer conditions out to our west. So should bring in the sunshine, especially by the time we get to the end of the upcoming weekend. Looking at those wind gusts for today, we're going to see gusts up to around 25 to 30 miles per hour. So definitely going to be a breezy evening for us, and we'll keep those breezy conditions at least heading into Saturday as well. But we stay in the upper 70s, low 80s to finish out the month of September, beginning of October, looking extremely nice for us as we'll range in the 70s and see plenty of sunshine.